tomorrow afternoon after the Embers Ramblers come to town. A brutal stretch for Truro. One and one so far. They lost two nothing to Campbellton on Wednesday before another exciting 5-4 win against the Crushers. Chance for Soper scores! Jimmy Soper just picks the top corner over the glove of Brandon Whitney. One nothing Bearcats. Spot where it was shot as everyone skated past it. Samakis back on the ice. Skating around took a stick to the face, no call. McDonald goes in, throws the gloves down. And he's gonna go here with Adam Smith. Archibald already has the helmet off. Both players throwing some right hands. Now the helmet pops off of Smith. He's throwing a lot more punches than McDonald. Both teams in the crowd applaud it. McDonald jumping in after Sumakis. Took a shot to the face. Fist bump between Sumakis and McDonald after that. Lost it to Aird. Grant. Timberwolves onside. Played down low for Graham. Centering pass in front. Scores! Not sure who that deflected off, but it goes behind Mark Graham at Bauer. 36 seconds into the power play. The Miramichi Timberwolves have tied this game. It's 1-1. Brown, 23 seconds to go here. Grant gets knocked down by Lance Lee in the neutral zone. A big hit in the corner. Backhand shot scores! Max Robitaille up and over the glove hand of Mark Grammettbauer. Robitaille's fourth goal of the season. It's now 2-1 Miramichi. Here we go, just avoids a hit, gets the puck ahead to Denver Lines. That pass goes back to the point. Donnelly in, takes a shot right into the glove. Big rebound, shot in front, scores! Whitney was out of position. Denver Lions gives Braden Wood a shot after the play. It wasn't pretty, but it works. Daniel Perigo notches the game at two. Perigo's 24th goal on the season. Timberwolves with a power play goal already tonight. As Wood gets the puck at center. Jimmy Soper racing after the puck. Has gas in there. Soper in gets tripped up. Shot on goal. The arm is up in the air. And there it is. Jimmy Soper is going to have a chance to get his second goal of this game. Number 19. With the Bearcats shorthanded. Has the penalty shot. Soper already has a goal. Rang one off the post shortly after. Gathering himself. The Bearcats side is in a race, and here we go. Soper. Staying towards the middle of the ice. Cuts to the backhand. Forehand scores! Have a game, Jimmy Soper. Second goal of the night. 3-2 Bearcats. Nice play broken up. McNaughton spun around. Whitney's going to come out to play it. Out to the neutral zone. Kennedy fresh off the bench. Leads the rush in. Graham shot scores! Graham from a sharp angle. Mark Graham at Bauer was covering the post. Left a lot of room to his right. Connect with Court who had a step on Riley Baggs. Good job on Bags. He was well behind the play. He will almost catch up. Puck is dumped in by Wenzel. A dangerous play there. Whitney. Puck is given away to Perigo in. Scores! Whitney completely bungled that play. 
Perigo takes advantage, bearing the puck behind the Miramichi goaltender. 2-10 to go here in the third. Perigo's second of the night gives the Bearcats a 4-3 lead. Six on five. Miramichi net empty. Harper couldn't take the shot. Pass in front to Ayers. Thrown towards Kennedy, and the Bearcats just get the puck down the ice. Slowing up just enough. No icing on the play. And they get the last minute of play here in the third. Wood gets turned around by Wenzel, and Jimmy Soper has his hat trick. Jimmy Soper puts it into the empty net. Number 19 finishes off this game for the Bearcats, his 18th goal of the season. Left in the game. Perigo just dumps the puck in, killing off some more time. Soper's goal unassisted, both Bearcat goals. Here in the third, unassisted. Coming a minute. And 17 apart. And there it is. The Miramichi Timberwolves in their lone appearance here at the rec center. Follow the Bearcats 5 to 3. Mark Grandma Bauer picks up the win. It's his sixth of the season. Miramichi out shooting the Bearcats 9 to 6 in the period, 29 20 overall. Mitch Graham with the third star of tonight's game with a goal and an assist. Perigo with two goals gets a second star, and no surprise here, Jimmy Silver with the hat trick gets the first star of the game. So that'll do it for our broadcast here tonight. We'll be back this, tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock. Insist given on Soper's empty netter to Jordan Wenzel. So Soper from Wenzel. But we will be back here at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon as the Amherst Ramblers come to town. The Bearcats tie a ribbon on their regular season as they gear up to start the playoffs against the Victor County Weeks Crushers. For Duncan McLean behind the camera, I'm James Faulkner. The final score here tonight, the Bearcats 5, Timberwolves 3.